The JSC has listed 10 exchange-traded funds this year, showing that there's an appetite. This latest offering focuses on developed and emerging markets. This is the first global ETF to track the S&P 1200 Global Equity Index. And that's in the, in the South African market. So uh, the ETFs that track global equities either focus on the developed markets or the, develop, or the emerging markets. This is the first ETF that tracks the, 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 the global exposure to basically a combination of the, of the developed and the emerging markets. The growth in ETFs globally has been driven by retail investors and more recently by institutional investors. Exchange traded funds such as this one that track global indices allow investors to get exposure to some of the most prominent companies in the world. It also provides a way to diversify exposure to, to South Africa so you get basically get a global exposure in, in RAND terms so, so you have a RAND, RAND, RAND hedge as well. There's more upside for local investors besides investing in global brands. There's also the question of forex allowances. Investors, whether they're institutional or retail, are able to get exposure to these companies locally without using those allowances at a very cost-effective rate in terms of fees and administrative costs. This is another opportunity for local investors and for those continental investors who have access into the JSC to get involved on a global level. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Santon, South Africa.